Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. We are about to make some rolls to go with supper tonight. I just said rolls funny, rolls. Anyway, we are about to make some rolls to go with supper tonight. I'm gonna be making the tazania. I thought about doing the chili, but I didn't start it early enough today because it goes, it's a slow cooker recipe, so I didn't start it in time. So we're gonna do the tazania. Titus busted out laughing when he asked me what we were gonna make for supper, and I said tazania, and he was like, it took him a second, but then he started laughing and I was like, what's funny? I mean, what's funny about tazania? What's so funny? It actually is kind of a funny word, especially when you say it too. It's the more I said it, the more funny it started to sound. Have y'all ever done that with a word like any word? Me and John were talking about this the other day. <laughs> He's over there. Any word, like if you say it, like just for instance, I don't know, jar. If you just say jar over and over and over, it starts to sound funny, like it doesn't sound right anymore. I need to get these rolls started. Manly's taking his nap. It is raining outside, so we couldn't go outside this afternoon. So I've just been doing some cleaning, washing clothes. The kids have been playing some games. They love that life game. I know I've showed it to y'all before. It's the one I got from Dollar General, the Rivals Edition. It's a two-player game of the game of life. Rainy days can be fun too. Just pull out the games. For the rolls, we need one pack of active dry yeast, or if you're not, if you don't have the packs, um, you have like a big thing of yeast, I think it's two tablespoons. So we just dump in the yeast and then we put one cup of warm water. It doesn't need to be hot, it doesn't need to be cold, it needs to be warm. We pour in the warm water and then I just mix it around with a fork. I don't uh, remember for sure how long the top's on ya. <laughs> I'm understanding why he laughed now. It's kind of funny to keep saying that. I think it only takes about 30 minutes. I'm not sure though. It might take around 40. Now, we're just gonna let this sit for just a few minutes while I get out the rest of my ingredients. We need sugar, we need flour, just all-purpose flour, one egg, and butter and salt. We're gonna go ahead and put the sugar in now. Just one fourth of a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and the butter. I'm just gonna, we need two tablespoons, so I'm just gonna chop it up just a little, and one egg. You're making a funny noise like his stomach was growling. And I filled you up this morning. The last thing is the flour. We start by putting in three cups, and then we'll save a fourth of a cup for the end. One, two, three. I know we all just now saw that little owl take a bite out of that Tootsie Pop. So I'm putting my bread hook attachments in. You don't have to have the bread hook attachments uh, to make these. I've used just a regular mixer, regular beater. It's just, um, you know, a little harder to get the dough out when it finishes, but you can use those. You don't have to have the bread hooks. They just make it a little easier. Okay, so here's where we are. We touch it and it's still really sticky, sticking to our hand, so now we put in the fourth of a cup of flour. We want to touch it and it still be really soft but not stick to our hands. That's it. What I do now is I take a little bit of flour and put on my hands. The original recipe said to put it onto a floured surface and knead it, but I just do it right here in the bowl get it into a nice little ball shape and I just take some cooking spray and spray along the sides of the bowl just so that it doesn't stick when it starts to rise. We cover it with a clean dry towel for 90 minutes or you can do 60 I just I've always done 90 so okay so we're looking to see now how long it takes to make this tazania total time one hour okay what do we need? I think it's gonna be like very easy. We have to brown the ground beef. So after about an hour, we'll go ahead and start the tots on ya. Do we leave the tater tots frozen? That's what I need to know. Yes, frozen, okay. So it was early this morning when I went to pick up the groceries, right? And I had two free beverages on my Dunkin' app, the rewards, you know? So I went through there to get one of them. And I wanted to tell y'all, if you like wanna like pumpkin spice, but you don't love it to be so strong, I have a recommendation for you. Get a latte and only put half the amount of pumpkin and half vanilla. So if you mix the vanilla with the pumpkin, it kind of softens up that pumpkin taste 
and it's really good. <laughs> I tried mixing pumpkin and caramel at Dunkin'. Y'all know I made that here, and when I made it at home, it was really good. But when I tried that with Dunkin', it was not good. But mixing a little pumpkin with a little vanilla from there is good. <laughs> I was about to make me a cup of coffee, and I remembered I had this little bit left, but I need to add some more ice to it. Manly's gonna be sad when he wakes up. Usually, right when he wakes up from his nap, not long after, he's ready to go outside because he knows that's usually when we've been putting the chickens up here lately is before, you know, before I cook supper, since it gets darker earlier. And so we usually stay out there for a little bit and he loves it, but it's raining today, so he's not gonna be able to. We haven't had rain in several, several days. It's been a while since we've had rain, I think. I think the last time it rained was when we had that really big rain. Did you have a good nap? He's trying these go-go squeeze yogurts. He's had them before and he used to like them, but he's he's having to think pretty hard about them today. He didn't know. Boop, boop. Yeah. Oh, you see a boot? What is that? A moose. Oh, a moose? I think it's supposed to be a little cow. It's a cow. Yeah, it's a cow. And what is this one here? What do we got over here? <gasps> a strawberry. Is that a strawberry? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh no, it's on the seat. Yeah, it got on the seat. It's okay, I'll get it. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Is it good now? Hey, Mama. Yeah, it's just, a, I dried it up. It's okay. Okay, the dough is almost finished with the first rise. I'm gonna go ahead and make the ground beef for the top zanya. I talked to Titus on the phone just a few minutes ago, and once again, he's laughing. He said, he said, so what are we gonna be having for supper? How about some kind of tot, tot something? Since Manly's awake, everybody's coming out from quiet time. It ain't quiet anymore. <laughs> I got mama. Thank you, baby. Are you I done? I got more. You want more? Okay. Okay. Yeah, he likes them. I think earlier I gave him one and it wasn't cold. Those don't have to be refrigerated, those go-go squeeze yogurts. And so I gave him one earlier and it wasn't cold and I think that's what threw him off. Now they're cold and he's, he's figuring out. It's all good. Oh, did I leave that door open? Sorry, he shuts all doors. If any door is left open, leave it to Manly. He is the door shutter. Watch this. I don't want anything in there. Jonah's over here organizing the snack baskets. This is the oatmeal basket. That was a little bit of the Frosted crispy cereal left over that I didn't want to waste. You can eat it. It's just a little bit left. <laughs> Sissy's pictures fell down. She drew pictures for everybody. Did she give you one, Jonah? No. She hadn't gave you yours yet? She's making you one. I saw it earlier. This one's mine. This one's Manly's. And this one was Daddy's, but Jonah helped her with the horse. You did a good job. Cece colored it. She put a little jewel there for its eye. I need to go ahead and preheat the oven. I can't remember what it said. I think it was 375. That's what we're gonna go with. We just cook up the ground beef and then drain it. And then we just layer it up and it goes in the oven for 45 minutes. Okay, so while the ground beef's cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rolls rolled out because they need to rise for about 45 more minutes once we get them rolled out into the roll shape. Here's how we're looking, beautiful. We punch it down. I always feel bad to punch it down because it's so pretty when it rises up. I'm just gonna sprinkle some flour over here on the cutting board and we bring over the dough and I just roll it into a really smooth ball here, pressing out any air bubbles. Now we cut it in half and then we cut this piece in half and then we cut this piece in half. And then we cut these in half. So we're gonna have 16 rolls all together. What we do is we dip them in the flour, extra flour over here a little bit. Then we take our hand like this and push the roll through just like that till it's all the way through and then we just kind of close it up, sit it on the pan. Now we 
cover again and they rise for 45 minutes. Okay, so we drained the ground beef. Now I'm putting in, I decided to use pasta sauce instead of marinara sauce. I think I'm probably gonna need two jars. I'm gonna mix this in and see. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and put two jars. Okay, we're gonna let this simmer. So I thought I had a brand new container of Parmesan cheese, but I don't think that I do because I can't find it. So we're gonna be leaving out the Parmesan. It's okay, that's happened to me before with lasagna and it was still fine. I love when ricotta cheese comes out of the container. Oh, don't you just love it? We're gonna go ahead and press that down. We're putting in some mozzarella cheese, about two cups. Tyler went to check in the other refrigerator for me and see if I had it opened. I was for sure that I had an entire container almost. I'll find it when I don't need it, but that's why I didn't order any because I thought I had some. How you do, how you do? Oh, I do! It was in the very back. It was hiding, thank you, Tyler. Okay, now we're gonna put in some Parmesan. Grated Parmesan, there we go. That was, I didn't even really see what I poured, but somewhere between a fourth to a half a cup. Okay, now we're gonna put in some parsley. There we go, garlic powder. Okay, and we need to put in one egg. We are spraying the casserole dish. And we're gonna put down some of the meat mixture, just a little bit of it on the bottom here. Now we put down a layer of tater tots. And so we just do, just like we would do if this was noodles, and we just layer everything. for 45 minutes. The rolls just have 15 more minutes to rise and then they go in the oven for 15 minutes. So everything will be getting ready right around the same time. Rolls are done. Now we're just gonna take a little butter and spread over the top of them. Does anybody want honey butter? Uh, yeah, is that a uh, yeast roll? Mm-hmm, show sure is. You laughing at the top, of the, uh, what did I call Take it? Top. Tot Zonia. <laughs> But you ain't laughing at the roll. <laughs> I'm just rubbing regular butter on the top of them and then we'll make some honey butter. y'all we are finished eating now this is what's left over of the tatzania there was a little bit left too that just you know how when you have lasagna or tatzania it just starts getting all messy very very messy <laughs> where the cheese is sliding off and everything but anyway this is pretty much the leftovers i really love it like i love it i think i like it better than regular lasagna but the rest of the family says they would regular i mean they would rather just have regular lasagna <laughs> they would regular I mean, they all said it was good. Of course, it's good. But if they want lasagna again, they want the noodles. But I know that one of y'all mentioned in the comments that you don't like lasagna noodles. So, yes, if you do like tater tots, this would be for you. Here's why I think I love it. When I was a little girl, whenever we would get pizza, I don't know why sometimes we would have french fries. I don't know if my mama would go to different places to get other things. Like, I don't know. But sometimes we would have french fries and pizza at the same time. And I loved to take french fries i think it was mcdonald's french fries <laughs> and dip them in the pizza sauce on my pizza like scrape the pizza sauce off that was so good and i think that's why i'm loving this tater tot lasagna thing it's kind of the same thing the tater tots with the spaghetti sauce a little bit i guess <laughs> anyway i loved it we're gonna finish cleaning up now and it's time to get people ready for bed
Grazie.